All right, guys, and welcome back to what I assume is the final episode of Devil Survivor 2 Record Breaker. And we are about to go on to the new world. And it's been a long journey. We put in about 110 hours, I want to say. No, not 110 hours. 102 hours logged onto my damn save file here. We've come so far. We did a Septentrion arc. We defeated Polaris. And now we've done pretty much the Triangulum arc. We spent time to, you know, get all these demons. It is now time to complete the game. After literally three months, we're actually about to complete this game once and for all. And I gotta say, I enjoyed this. It, I'm, I'm talking like I already beat the game, but I might as well be talking like I beat the game. With this, with the team I have right now, I might as well just be talking like I already beat the game. Because I've already beaten the game because of this team. <laughs> but I've thoroughly enjoyed this journey and I just can't wait to just beat this game and move on to other things. So, onward to the new world, guys. You find Yako and Al Saiduk at the Sky Tower Terminal. Ah, you've arrived. Hey, what's up? We've just completed the final adjustments to the terminal. Okay. I finished modifying the skill crack function as well. Oh, you're here already. Alcor, Miyako, are all preparations ready? Of course, brother. Everybody gathers together. Now then, I shall send the recently completed skill crack expansion to your phones. Remember, this function will only work against Canopus. However, unlike a normal skill crack, there is no need to designate a target before battle. Nice. The power of the factors when you take them from Canopus will be usable by all of you. And he patched the hell out of that skill crack system. He upgraded it. You install the app outside Duke sends you. All right. Looks like we can finally take the fight to Canopus. Indeed. We're now ready to begin the battle against my creator. Are you all suitably prepared? Damn right, I'm totally prepared. It seems we're all prepared. Forward to Canopus. Yeah, we can do this, guys. We're all going to face this together. I'm not afraid. Not anymore. I don't care if he's some divine being or not. He's going down. This is it. The final battle for humanity's survival. Don't worry, guys. We totally got this. We'll win this time, too. I will defend these people. This world. This future. We will win. I wonder what Canopus is going to be like. <laughs> I can't wait. My heart is ready. We won't lose, no matter what. Your heart may be ready, but is your body ready? <laughs> I've been itching for a good fight. I won't let anybody die. We're gonna win. I know it. All right, Canopus. It's time to show you what humans can really do. The world we dream of has no place for a being such as Canopus. Humanity shall finally be fulfilled. Let it begin now. It has begun! The final battle. Let's do this. I've been waiting for about two weeks for this. Here we go, guys. It's time to head into the deep parts of Lyoko. Virtualization. <laughs> I love Ko Lyoko, dude. Providence. 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 Where are we? This place looks pretty sick. Is this where Canopus is supposed to be? Uh, where is he? 
You witness him as we speak. Huh? The whole area is Canopus? This whole area is Canopus. <laughs> oh, wow. It is unbelievable. What? This whole area is Canopus. We're gonna fight the whole area? This dude is space. <laughs> he's literally space. Well, he's a big one, isn't he? In order for us to defeat Canopus, we must destroy the very core of his existence. Doesn't this doesn't sound too hard. Yes. To rifle his might, first we must rob him of the powers he commands and claim them as our own. Look, over there. Sounds easy enough. We just gotta steal stuff. Damn! Bubbles? Are those bubbles? Those are the embodiments of the powers that preside over the universe. They are the factors that form Canopus. And the powers we must first attain to overcome the Divine Order. Uh, we have to fight these things again? It seems our foe underestimates us. Come, the Forerunners have been cleared. Uh-oh. Miyako? Yes, brother. Aw, oh, snap. What are they about to do? They're powering up! Oh! Brother, sister, command mayor! Ooh, he's even more powerful than the damn father son command mayor! <laughs> Whoa! That was incredible! The brother, sister, command mayor wave. Where'd you learn that? You have no greater challenge, Canopus. It will take more than a few pawns to stop us. Yeah, okay, you wanna talk shit? Alright, here's all these demons! What? Now he's got demons too? You wanna talk all this shit? Well, I'm gonna let you fight all these demons. <laughs> we'll cut through them. Time to do what we do best and break the game. <laughs> I suppose so. It does seem our greatest skill. We'll turn these weaklings to dust. Come, let's cut a path right through them. Or, just fly through them. Everyone, with me! We're going to break through! Let's do it! Victory! Destroy the heat factor and seize it! We gotta do it! Oh! We gotta defeat the heat factor. That's the first opponent in this final boss. So this final boss, we gotta take all the components, right? So we get the heat. Then, then I guess we get time, and then we get space, and then gravity, or whatever. But, here we go, guys. It's time to show you the strategies that I concocted off-camera for about... I actually was doing this strategy about a few days ago off-camera. But, fiends are ridiculously good. Two reasons why fiends are really, really good. They have really good stats. They have really good resistances, okay, okay. And the second thing, unearthly form is extremely fucking broken. Immediately act again, cannot be used more than once per turn. Now you may be thinking, oh, you can just attack again. No, you can do much more than attack again. It lets you act again. It basically lets you have two turns in one turn. So if, in reality, if you had matchless, and you had unearthly form, you can essentially attack four times in one turn because of unearthly form and matchless. Now the thing is, we're not gonna do that here because we're not close to the boss to be able to attack him four times here. So, what we wanna do here is find a way to get Jungle up to the boss so he can pretty much one-shot the boss. <laughs> Cause, yeah, this is gonna be funny as hell if he gets one-shotted, but... What we have Jungle here set up with, he, he has to have he has to have a fiend. So basically we're gonna give him Trumpeter, which is just absolutely necessary if you wanna get some one-turn victories here. And we're pretty much gonna try to fly up with Suzaku. We got wing flight on this guy. So what we need to do is actually switch with Jungle most likely. But first before we even start planning that strategy, I think we need to see how far he can go. So Suzaku, we're gonna play some right here. 
So, look at it. Alright, if he's right there and then Jungle's right next to him. He would be able to get up here and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he would actually be able to switch with Jungo. And then Jungo on his next turn would be able to go one, two, three, four. And then basically unearthly form. Because with unearthly form, you can basically get another turn on the same turn. And then everything you do, movement, summoning demons. Using abilities, all that stuff gets renewed. So after we move up four, we can move up another four. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. Yep, yep. GG. We got this one turn victory coming. Now y'all might be like, you can't do it. You can't do it, nah, fam. These fiends don't play games. These fiends are better than they were than in Nocturne. The, the fiends here are now on our side, son. <laughs> the fiends are helping us make the boss mad. The fiends used to make us mad, but now they're making... They're helping us make the bosses mad in this game. So what we're gonna do, we're pretty much gonna try to go for the one-shot kill. We're, we're not fucking around, man. Like I said, I just want to show off some strategies that a lot of people may have not been able to do because they didn't grind or they didn't even get this far in the game. So, I just really, really want to show off some of this broken shit. <laughs> I love it. So, I mean, what we need to do is that, oh my god, do I not have somebody with warp step? I, I thought I did. Yeah, here we go. We got one dude, Kampua. Kamapua, I don't think we have Hamza anymore. Nope, Hamza's not in our party. I actually had the, actually Hamza got created through Nata Taishi, I think. I created... I used Hamza for one of, one of the newer fusions, but anyway, we'll need this on Suzaku. Oh my goodness, you know what? I don't even think he would need this. You know what? That's fine. That's absolutely fine. That is actually good. Power charge and then extra one and then extra charge. Because he's guaranteed to get an extra turn. His attack would increase 1.5 on an extra turn, and then because of power charge, that's already buffed up, and then we'd be able to holy dance. And then if I had an, uh, a, de a demon with enlightenment, oh, yo, GG. But right now, there's like so many different strategies I can employ. There's so many different strategies, but I th I I'm just gonna stick to trying to one shot. So immediately, what we need to do after we switch with Jungle, he's gonna need to activate YM Dragon's ability, or where's he at? There's another demon we had that has evil flow, which would be better for the job. He's somewhere in here. I mean, yeah, Kata has him. So, Kata, what we want Kata to have, we want to give Kata maybe, yeah, we're going to give Kata to Tanya. And then, right now with Jungo, what we're going to do is give him evil flow. He's gonna start by using evil flow, then move up, then activate unearthly four, move up some more, switch this guy out for Loki, so I can then do the, the the strategy where he attacks you with final hit for massive amount of damage because final hit is actually really good because it is basically almighty. It's, it deals almighty damage, but it's powered by physical ability and can also you can also get a critical hit. So to maximize that, what I did. For Jungo was give him final hit. I'm also gonna instead of Darahan, I'm actually gonna give him might call just in case he gets an extra turn. He can actually might call himself and then go in for the final hit. But pretty much what we want to do is actually try to pump up his physical ability um, to be able to deal damage. He's got Blitzkrieg equipped, and then he's got physical amp, and then he's got final hit. Of course, he's gonna have life drain. So just in case, like. I do final hit and they're not dead, what we're gonna do is life drain to get a lot of health back. And it's gonna do a lot of damage because it's life drain. And then on top of that, because I'm gonna switch over to a tyrant that has blood treaty, he would actually be able to drain a hell of a lot more health. But anyway, the main goal here is to just have Jungle go up there swinging extremely hard. Because he has so much health, final hit does so much damage, and then you get a critical hit with, um, with Mike Call, because we're gonna use Mike Call to get that critical hit, the guaranteed critical hit, 
and then basically we're gonna put crit up so it deals more damage when you land criticals and then on top of that he's got physical imp which powers up final hit and then basically any normal attack that goes towards jungle he's gonna be able to reflect and then on top of that Loki would actually be able to protect jungle with either hero soul and then we can have Trump trumpeter use shield all to basically protect jungle from getting hit from magic you know as long as this dude doesn't have dual shadow and activate it, Jungle should be safe after if he uses final hit and then he's not able to kill the boss. He should be safe from uh, any magic attack unless they have, you know, Almighty. Then Jungle's kind of screwed. But whatever. Um, I could give him I could give him drain hit, but I think being able to do a lot more damage is better because all my demons can actually heal, so that would be great. So our team looks pretty good right now. So basically, Suzaku's gonna go up, warp, switch with Jungo. Basically what we did in Overclock to approach a lot of the bosses super quick. We're gonna basically be re-employing those strategies, get up there with Jungo, and then be able to call it a day. So after we um, evil flow with this guy, we're gonna have to switch in somebody else. So right now, we're gonna suspend our data. Uh, no skills to crack, so we just need to position everybody. So Kate is going to be in for this final fight, and then Fumi's just been devastating all game, so we definitely want her in. And uh, she's got Metatron. She's got Kodyu. So if somebody dies, like they're they're good to go, man. <laughs> like they got all this. They're playing support basically. We got Samakarm to revive anybody if somebody dies, and then we got Prayer, and everybody has a way to recover that damn MP. So yeah, everything's looking good, so let's go ahead and rock it out. Hell, the other two might not even get a chance to go. So what we want to do here... Let's move up. Warp stuff with Jungo. So he's like way ahead now. We're gonna do nothing else. You know what? We don't even need to move with these guys. <laughs> That's how confident I feel. We don't even need to move with them. And Jungo, basically, he's going to move up, right? And then we're going to evil flow. So pretty much we're going to evil flow. Now the thing is, you're probably wondering, like, you ain't, you don't have enough attack range. Look at that. You're too short. Well, guess what? I activate Trumpeter's special ability, unearthly form. It allows me to act immediately again, which gives me the ability to move. Switch out Vitra. <laughs> allows me to switch him out. Allows me to summon anybody I want. And we're going to want to get a tyrant back so they can help recover our fiend's ability to recover MP. So they can actually get unearthly form or get access to unearthly form again. So we want Loki to come back because he has Mike Call and we want him to use Mike Call so we can get this critical hit. So yeah, check this out, man. Check this out, B. We're now in the range of the factor of heat. Let's check it out. Uh-oh, new music. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Wait, we're gonna have to sit here and listen to this music for a little bit, okay? I just had to, because <laughs> it sounds pretty hype. This music is pretty hype. But anyway, let's go ahead and get our strategy set up here. We're gonna mic call with Jungo here. We're actually going to go hard. Then we're gonna guard with Loki too. <laughs> Dude, it's the menu music. Alright, cool. So, basically, Final Hit is about to do... <laughs> Get ready to see some fucking damage, people. <laughs> the thing is, it's gonna be a lot. It's about to be a lot of damage out there. Let's guard. Oh! <laughs> 2652? <laughs> the funny thing is, 
You can do this with Jungle at level 64. As soon as you get access to Loki and Trumpeter, the game becomes... The wow! The game gets freed. You don't even have to be level 99 to use that strategy I just did. <laughs> you don't have to be level 99 to just raffle stomp with this boss. Because at level 64, Jungle is going to have max strength anyway. He's going to have enough agility for Might Call. And on top of that, for more HP, you can just replace Physical Amp with Life Stream. Obtain the Factor of Heat. The strength of fire, ice, electricity, and force has increased greatly. This is the power of a Factor of Catalpis? It's amazing! I can feel strength surging up from inside! Bam! Each Factor's effect can be viewed by pressing the Start button and going to the System Menu's Factor. They're giving us new game mechanics at the end of the game. What is this? They're giving us new game mechanics at the end of the game. Unbelievable. It is a start, but we are far from being able to fight Canopus on even ground. <laughs> you sure about that, bro? <laughs> we just one-shot it to Factor of Heat. Let's take the rest of the factors. Let's do this. Let's do it. 